Let's spread our trees across the land and let's add custom tree generation to our Minecraft mod. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below with over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. All right, we found the back and tell you once more. And in this tutorial, we're adding tree generation to our Minecraft mod, which will, of course, require you to have gone through, well, I mean, either the tree tutorial and or the world gen tutorial in general. So I highly recommend you catch up on that if you haven't. And if you, well, if you don't want to, you can also go down to the description below and all of the code is of course available to you in the GitHub repository. Or if you just want to listen to me yap for, mm, I don't know, like nine and 40, nine minutes and 45 seconds. I don't know if this is going to be the length of the video, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try to make it come true. And then of course you can do so as well and let's take a look so of course now because we have added the tree last time that has included a driftwood key right here a configured feature and if we recall correctly how this works we go from a configured feature to a place feature to a to biome modification and of course this means that we have already defined how the feature is going to look like right we already know how the tree is going to look like we place down a sapling and then we can grow the tree and that is how the tree looked like and that is defined right here in the configured feature so that means that we only are left with the last two steps over here First one of which is, of course, the placed feature. So we're going to start with exactly that by making a registry key, public static final registry key of type placed feature. And this is going to be the driftwood underscore placed underscore key equal to, of course, the register key method. We will call this the driftwood underscore placed because I like to add placed over here with my placed features. And then the question is, how is this going to look like? And it is going to look like, I mean, super simple, actually. We're going to register, passing in the context, passing in the driftwood key. So this is the driftwood placed key. And then, of course, we once again want to use the configured features var over here to get or throw mod configured features that driftwood key because we somehow need to, well, refer back to our mod configured feature that we have added. After the first closing parenthesis, we'll then add vegetation placed features that tree modifiers with wood survive. Sounds absolutely crazy, and I'll explain what all of this means in a second. Here, we then want to say placed features, place features, very important, place features that create count extra. Let's do a 2, a 0.1f, and then a 2 again. And after the first closing parenthesis here, we then want to add mod blocks that the driftwood sapling, and then no errors should be present as always. The code is also available down below. For the explanation here, we're going to start at the back with the driftwood sapling. Now, we're using the tree modifier with wood survive. There also is just the tree modifier one. I personally say never use this one. Always use the tree modifier with, with wood survive. Why is this the case? If we add the sapling over here and use this method, that means that the tree can only ever be placed where the sapling would survive. And obviously, our sapling can only survive on farmland, on dirt, and on grass. Or I think everything that is within the dirt tag, to be very specific. But that is the, the sort of the boundary of where the sapling can survive. Therefore, our trees will only ever spawn where the sapling could also be put down. Extremely important because if you don't do this, then your trees are going to spawn on top of each other and they're going to stack up to the sky and, and it's going to look very, very strange and very, very weird. And they can also spawn in the middle of the ocean theory. And of course, that is not something we want. That is why this is highly recommended to always use. And then the create count extra modifier over here. So this one is very interesting indeed. I highly recommend control left click on this, control left click again to see how this is used over here. So you can see, for example, Tree Swamp uses a 2 as well with a point one of an extra chance over here and then one extra. The way that this works is that we place down 2 and then there's a 10% chance of placing down an extra 2. Now, one thing that is very, very strange here and that is actually quite important to explain is the chance. Now, the way that the chance works, if we look at this, is that we take 1, divide that by the chance that we're given, and then that has to be an integer. I don't know why they do it like this. This is some some Mojang stuff or something like that. But just note that if you put in a chance right here, that one divided by that has to be an integer. So if we put in 0.1, one divided by 0.1, absolutely no issues. That's an integer. One divided by 0.2, no issues. That's an integer. If we were to put in 0.3, well, one divided by 0.3 is not an integer. And therefore, you will get the error. The chance data cannot be presented as list weight. Is this really stupid? Yes, I think it is. 
is there probably some sort of reason behind it? Maybe or maybe just the programmer was just bad at programming and that's why it is in there and it has been in there for <laughs> I think I think like four versions at this point. But it doesn't matter uh, just so that you know this is a sort of a, a thing or a limitation here on the extra chance. But usually this is what you want and like I said you can always take a look at all of the different vanilla stuff to see how that works as well. And with that, we have the place feature, we have the configure feature already, and then we can move on to gen over here, world gen, where we are going to make a new Java class called the mod tree generation over here, where we're going to make one singular public static, static, please, there you go, void generate trees method. Generate tress, no, 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 generate trees, there we go. And this is going to call biome modifications that add feature the feature we're going to add to the biome selectors that include by key. In this case, we're going to choose biome keys dot planes and let's say biome keys dot I don't even know badlands, oh, dark forest, deep desert makes zero sense over here. Gro groove. I don't even know. Is this is called grove, right? Groove would be with two O's, a meadow, whatever. I mean, whatever it might be. And then after this, we of course say the vegetal vegetal decoration as the feature step. And then here, lastly, mod placed features dot driftwood placed key. After having added this, we need to now add the generate trees method call to the mod world generator class over here. So this is going to be mod tree generator that generate trees. Do note that. I believe, I'm not 100% sure, I believe the order here is important. So the if we take a look at the generation step over here, you can see that it goes from top to bottom, and you can see that the underground ores happens before the vegetative decoration. That is why I have ordered it exactly the same way, so that the ores over here happen before the trees. I don't know if this is important. I believe this was important a long time ago. It might, at this point, you know, be fixed, but I still like to keep the same sort of generation step order because there's really nothing you know why why not basically but that is everything that we need for tree gen actually right so we have a tree right that gets generated via the place feature and then via the biome modifications that gets placed into the planes as well as the meadow biomes so we can run data gen of course for the placed feature over here we need to run the data gen and once that is through well then we can jump into the game and see if it works. All right, fans, so back in Minecraft. I've chosen not to make a new world because we can also literally just uh, basically teleport ourselves to a very, very far off land over here and then simply locate a biome. The biome we want to locate is the plains biome in this case. Let's just see. And then, ah, uh, look at this beauty. And we can see all of our trees in all their glory. Now, I will admit they look... <laughs> I mean, I mean, this one's a little bit, okay. They look a little bit weird, but of course, this is all down to whatever sort of, well, whatever we do in terms of their, um, of their configuration. I do know that some of the leaves here are decaying because the, the, the crown of the foliage is so big that they're like out of the range of the logs, right? If I were to place down logs near here, then uh, they would, they would stop uh, decaying. Uh, but they shouldn't all decay. In theory, that sh they should stop at some point. We can even double check this, actually. Game rule. No, no, game rule, please. Game rule. Uh, random tick speed. And if I just were to increase it, you can see they are going to decay until... Well, basically, you can see exactly the borders of where the, where the logs are, well, still affecting them. But yeah, that is it. And that is custom tree generation added to Minecraft. Pretty freaking cool. As per usual, all of the code is available down below, but that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll talk about a tree spawning on a different block. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.